There are other genes now that are also uh, included in the NCCN guidelines that we follow. In genetics clinics, the counselors are well versed in keeping up to date with these guidelines uh, for hereditary cancer management, which we as the hereditary cancer clinicians then take, um, take on and discuss with the family. But in terms of genetic testing, this is important for insurance coverage as well. So insurers increasingly are, asked, uh, are asking us to demonstrate that the family meets criteria based on NCCN guidelines for testing of genes, including the multi-gene panels. So more and more patients, when they're offered genetic counseling for family history of ovarian cancer, whether they're affected or unaffected, will be told not only about BRCA1 and 2 and Lynch syndrome, if that's relevant, looking at the family history, but also that they may indeed qualify for testing of these additional genes. These can be as many as 11 genes, 16, more than 24, 34, and even 80 gene panels.